There's a breathtakingly beautiful scene in this week's Parsha. God tells Moshe to take Aharon up to the mountain because it's time for Aharon to pass away. And he tells him to take off Aharon's big day kahuna, the garments of the high priest, and to dress Aharon's son in them in front of Aharon. And the commentators explain, God added something else. He told Moshe to tell Aaron, you're so blessed. You get to see your son take over for you. Unlike me, I didn't merit that. But that's strange. Is God trying to create an awkward moment between brothers? Why couldn't he have just had Moshe say, Aaron, you're blessed. You get to see your son take over. Why does he have to add, and I didn't get that? Maybe what's going on is that God wants Moshe to deliver a message to Aaron as follows. Don't think that the only reason your son is taking over for you is due to an accident of birth because he inherited the position. No, it's not automatic. He earned it, he deserved it, he is the most fitting person. My own sons, as much as I would have loved it, aren't taking over for me. Yahushua is. So maybe that was the message. But if that's the only answer, then why didn't God deliver it directly to Aaron? Aaron, you're blessed, you get to see your son take over for you and he earned it. Why have Moshe deliver the message and add, I didn't get that, in which case maybe it's gonna be awkward between them. Maybe the answer to that is that God wanted to give Moshe one last opportunity to say thank you to his big brother. Remember what had happened all those years back. Moshe had to flee Egypt as a fugitive after killing the Egyptian taskmaster. He fled to Midian, and he came back decades later after God appeared to him at the burning bush. But before he came back, he argued with God for a week. He did not want to come back to Egypt and take over as the leader of the Jewish people. Why? The main reason was, he did not want to take over from Aaron, his older brother, who was the leader. And so God said to him, go, Aaron's not going to be jealous. He's going to be happy for you. And so this is an opportunity for Moshe to say, Aaron, I know I've thanked you before, but I can't thank you enough. For 40 years, since the moment I showed up and in God's direction took over for you as the leader, not once did I feel any vibes of jealousy not a jealous bone in your body. All you ever did was support me, even after I took over the leadership from you. And I want you to know, I'm not going to get the chance to see my sons take over from me. Yehoshua is going to instead. But I get to see, and you get to see, your son take over for you. And not only am I not jealous, I could not be happier to watch my big brother get to see his son take over for him and get to see my nephew, your son, take over for his father right back at you, big brother. You were never jealous of me. You always supported me. I'm not jealous of you. I'm supporting you until the last moment. And that is a spectacular goodbye.